Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your messages from Spirit Reading, the sign of Aquarius, from now to the end of June 2020. I hope you're well Aquarius. So I'm just going to pull a message from Spirit Card to see what the message is for you. So what do we have for Aquarius please, from now to the end of June please, Angel Spirits Guides. New beginnings. Everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that now a new beginning is on the horizon. Have courage and faith because right now life is trying to nudge you forward and move you in a new direction. Okay. What do we have Angel Spirits Guides? What is the message for Aquarius? Message for Aquarius. Now to the end of June 2020. Three cards. Okay, let's move these over a little bit. So, we have speak up it is time to speak up you know very Aquarian statement be true to yourself choose friends wisely okay let's see what we get with the rest of the cards Aquarius so what is the message please for Aquarius Angel Spirits Guides from now to the end of June oh dear okay Aquarius we have Guard Your Energy now we have 1 and 9 which makes 10 for some of you I feel this is an ending 10s in tarot can be about completions and endings and I feel for some of you the new beginning is burning out of bringing something to a close by maybe speaking your truth Guard your energy. Okay. Angels, what is the message for Aquarius, please? Now to the end of June 2020. Oh, thank you. We have relationship harmony. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved. Yeah, I think something is, is, it could be the argument, the disagreement is, is being finalised or completed or you're making peace with it and just opening up a new phase of your life. I'm going to pull one more. Because I feel there's disharmony in a relationship and it's not just love relationships. This can be about wider family, friendships, can also be to do with the workplace as well, Aquarius. Naturally, it can be love too. But this is a loose term, choose friends wisely. So what does that friends mean? Yeah, and I think you're reviewing it. It's funny, the life review just came out when I just said, what does that friends mean? Archangel Jeremiah, take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. I do feel for some of you, you are taking steps to do that this month. Okay, let me just try and fit these on the table. <laughs> One moment. Try not to touch the microphone. Okay. So I'm using Tarot Grand Lux to pull the main cards and then we will pull clarifying cards. So I pull three cards Aquarius. The first card is the issue or challenge you need help from Spirit on. Second card is the advice from Spirit and the third card is the outcome should you take that advice. It won't resonate with everybody so just choose what resonates with you. Okay first card is out. Strength card of Leo. Advice from Spirit. The world, wow. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> we have the Wheel of Fortune. Three major arcana, Aquarius. Some of you are dealing with... I feel it's big change. Okay, can we clarify the cards on the table, please, Angel Spirits Guides, for Aquarius? This is the Radiant Wise Spirit deck, I think. Do one more shuffle. Okay, let's clarify the Strength card to start off with. What is the message for Aquarius? Can we clarify the cards on the table? Now to the end of June 2020, please. Thank you. Page of Cups. The world is clarified by, oh wow, Six of Pentacles. And the Wheel of Fortune is clarified by the Two of Wands, New Horizons. Nine of Swords is bottom of the deck. When I touch this card, it's interesting. This is Jupiter in Gemini. We have the Jupiterian energy here with the Wheel of Fortune. Now, it's interesting, this is a number 10, which is why I kind of saw the 10 in the Guardian, guard your energy. Because you're being protected here. This is divine timing, everything happening for a reason and so on, which we'll come back to. But the 10 here can represent completions. It can also represent a shift to something new. It is that transformational, transmutable energy with the Wheel of Fortune. You know, 10, 1 plus 0 is 1. And I do feel that here. I do feel that here. It's like you're very close to bringing an ending because this is a 9. And a ten in tarot is a completion. This is, even though you don't see it, you're so close to bringing something to an end now. Now, this could be a way that you're perceiving something. This could be a way that you are allowing something to own you, Aquarius. The sword's energy is very much to do with the mind. And when we focus on the negative, that's what we get more of. They just stack up like the swords on that wall completely dominating our mind, blowing things out of perspective that stop us from seeing the way forward. It's the only thing that's going to stop you from moving forward is the mind energy, the mental energy, how you perceive something, if you allow the negativity to own you. So it's a poignant message I feel for some of you and that's why you're being told to guard your energy, protect your energy, because we have the 10 here which is almost kind of like you can draw something to a close by protecting your own internal space, by allowing yourself to master how things affect you now. But you need to allow yourself to see past this energy. Now, there may well be part of this, you know, it's interesting when I touch this card, part because it's Gemini and it's Jupiter, it's Mars in Gemini, sorry. There may well be something that you need to get off your chest you know when we just hold on to the negativity and we don't we allow it to fester and we don't allow ourselves to speak the truth i'm feeling that quite strongly with the speak up card be true to yourself it's time to get things off your chest where you need to release that so if it's to do with another person or people in your situation i do feel for some of you it is time to have your say, speak your truth, get it off your chest. Because I think that's where the change comes from as well. You know, that Gemini energy is all about expressing ourselves too. Because the strength card is a card of finding the strength, the power, 
the perseverance, the determination to overcome anything either in our internal space or our external environment. Strength exists in fear. Strength exists when we have a challenge to overcome. That's when we find what we're made of. That's when our metal is tested. And I feel for some of you, you have been tested. But you are doing a life review here. Because for some of you, I mean, the pages can be the beginnings of something new. But I feel that this is a deeply intuitive energy of when you allow yourself to look on the bright side and this is really by being guided by your inner knowing your intuition connecting to your inner energy allowing yourself to look on the bright side it really helps you master the thoughts that are dominating you at the moment this is a card of mastery of one's thoughts mastery of how your thoughts can affect you. I do feel you are overcoming whatever this Nine of Swords is or have the opportunity to now. Now, there may also be Leo in your life and it could well be in terms of love relationships. So I'm going to pull another card for what this Page of Cups is too. Can we clarify the Page of Cups, please? Angel Spirits Guides for Aquarius. Yeah, it's the victory. So I think this is just guided intuition, allowing yourself to look on the bright side, overcoming the challenge by being in your strength and power. Because this is also a Leo energy, the Six of Wands. But it's a card of victory. It's a victory over what has caused you despair, anxiety, upset, hurt disrupted your sleeping patterns, worry, obsessively overthinking about something to the point where you're blowing it out of proportion. This is where you're absolutely having the opportunity to master it now. Whatever's gone on here and put it behind you. Yeah, quite strong. It's quite a strong energy in Aquarius. Because I do feel the world card and the six of pentacles is telling you, it's almost kind of like you're being told. This can sometimes be someone giving you advice. But I do feel this is about putting your efforts into what is going to bring you reward as well. So this is putting, uh, putting your practical focus, your efforts, your practical skills, knowledge, experience, whatever this is, in terms of where your focus needs to be now. Because this is linked with the law of attraction. It's almost like what you put into something is what you get back with the pentacles energy for me as a reader. It's our conscious reality linked to our health our money, our career, our property, our foundational relationships, people we build our life around, life around. And for some of you, it is about putting your efforts in the right place that is going to, if you do, it's almost kind of like the universe is saying, that's when the universe gives you something back. This can be a, um, a gift, uh, a message to say you're going to get what you need. It's like the universe working in tandem with you. This is about being open to receive now from the universe by the hard work you've been putting into something. And I feel the hard work is towards ending something. This is allowing things to end and stepping into a new phase of your life. Because there's a message here that you've learnt the lessons that you needed to learn now. And now you need to focus on what is going to bring you stability, security, safety, value in your life whether that's with relationships, money and career, life journey, life direction, all of this. Now, it might well be somebody in your life is giving you some advice as well. So there could be a person, you know, this is the Taurus energy, the Hierophant. So it can be somebody might be giving you some advice in how to just move into the next phase of your life as well. And this is about being open to listen, Aquarius. And absolutely, 
You're being guided, I feel, down a different path. This is somebody at a crossroads or at a juncture where they have put effort in to restabilize their life. They've built a battlement here, which represents solid grounding, solid footing. The work that you've put in so far has brought you some kind of level of stability here or just stabilizing your life. And now it's time when somebody is in their power, very much like the strength card, to take the initiative to new horizons, find a new direction, because I feel for some of you, you are being guided to make clear choices now, guided choices that's very much in line with your destiny. Wheel of Fortune is your destiny as well. This can be linked to opportunity as well. So it's almost like the world is opening up for you here, Aquarius, where there may well be more than one opportunity presenting itself to you because the wheel is turning in your favour which is all about expansion, growth, good luck, good fortune. It's very good in terms of money and career in particular. So for those of you who may have had a difficult time in money and career in particular, this is very much about focusing on what is going to bring you growth. This is somebody who is choosing their path forward, making life choices, decisions. You could be choosing between two opportunities here. And it's all because Things are going on behind the scenes that you might not be fully aware of, but you're absolutely told to take direction down a new route now. Um, focus on a new vision and start taking action towards it. All the while remembering that the world is in your hands. Your world is in your hands to shape it how you will. So it is about putting the effort in where you're going to bring growth. You're going to bring the beginnings of success into your life. You find a new direction that is going to be more rewarding in line with your passions, your desire. And it's by you being in your power, taking the initiative now. This is such a beautiful card of good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth, prosperity. Um, like I said, it's very, very good with opportunity opening up for you, the world opening up for you. And um, I'm feeling that quite closely, certainly next to the world card. I feel when you allow something to end, that's when the new beginning starts. I feel you are moving on from what is gone and moving forward to greatest prosperity ahead. This is somebody who is just finding their passions, being ignited and just going for what they want now. And remember the new beginning is that transmutable energy of endings and beginnings the wheels turning it's shifting in your favor opportunity is opening up now for greater growth and expansion so it is all about capitalizing on it now now is the time divine timing to make decisions and choices life choices having done some life review in terms of what you want remember the person chooses one opportunity one path and they don't choose the other. So what you don't want as well. Um, beautiful energy, beautiful energy. I'm gonna pull one more card to finish off the reading before I pull the final cards, oracle cards. Yeah, Knight of Cups. It is going search of what makes you happy. Now this can also represent an opportunity that brings you happiness too. So that could be in love, could be to do with your passions and desires, but it can also be to do with careers, jobs, opportunities. The world is opening up for you. So this is about going in search of what ignites your passions, Aquarius, and what makes you happy. And I feel, yeah. And like I said, the Page of Cups is that beginning of opening up to focus on what makes you happy. Look on the bright side. Approach things with positive energy because you have conquered the worst. I'm going to pull a final card to finish off the reading. This is the Spirit Animal Oracle deck. 
final message for Aquarius, please, Angel Spirits Guides. Final message for Aquarius, please. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Wheel of Fortune, look, the ladybird. All of your manifestation or manifesting, positive thoughts and visualizations have been heard. And now divine timing is at play. And now is the time to act on your vision, your goal. And I feel for some of you, it's in a new direction. Could be new jobs, new opportunities, business opportunities, career opportunities, could be in terms of going in search of a new relationship. But whatever this is, it's absolutely beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Aquarius. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.